Hello, this is Chuck. We are back again with another set, Nancy Drew, Treasure in the Royal Tower. I now, the tower's on. Now, hard part I'm having right now is how in the world I'm supposed to check the power. Unless they mean the power to my room, but that wouldn't make sense at all. Hmm. Let's check the circuit breakers. Oh, come on. This way? No. Went too far? Either way, I think from here we can... That's going to do anything. Reset the elevator, I believe we can... I believe we can just reset the elevator like that. Mm -mm. Nope. Ugh. Click too quickly. Now it shouldn't get stuck again. There we go. Mm. What the hell is that? That's it? Nothing more? This is new. So... Uh... Oh! This one goes nowhere! No comment from Nancy? Come on, Nancy. Make a comment. Say something. I guess we can't really do anything, from what I can tell. We can look at the picture of Marie Antoinette, but that's not quite... Uh... Okay, nothing. You know what? Maybe... Oh, I don't know. At this point, I feel like I should actually try to sleep. Nothing... No, that's a dead end, if I'm remembering correctly. I wonder if the power's on. Hmm. I'm a bit of a loss of what I'm supposed to be doing. 
just realized also my timer wasn't on. <laughs> so I don't know how long the set's gonna be. Well, I I'll know there's at least one thing we can do since we can't do that anymore. Head to the basement. Instead of going out, we go up the hatch and oh look! Now there's this, but it's I don't think. Stuck. Yeah. There's something down there. Oh, hey, what? we can't enter, but this is the way to the library. Now I have to be careful with this part because I got caught that one time. And you think it's because I was going down too quickly. <laughs> okay, okay, I hear you. Darn you crazy old man. I know you hid that thing around here somewhere. The least you could have done was left me a hint. <sighs> I don't have time to clean this up. Okay, and lucky for us, he turned off the alarm. See, last time I went down the stairs way too quickly, and so I ended up getting caught because uh, I didn't give it time to do to activate, so to speak. Now, there's going to be a lot of reading, so the diary of Hans, Hans Axel von Fersen. What does this dude have to say? Hans Axel von Fersen was a Swedish-French soldier and diplomatic agent who became a close friend of Queen Marie Antoinette during the early 1780s and went on to work for the counter-revolutionary movement after 1789. After Antoinette's execution in 1793, von Fersen wrote about her every year on the anniversary of her death until his own death in 1810. Many scholars, there's a fly in my face, many scholars have concluded that he must have been in love with her. His diary recounts his political movements during this time and provides us with a valuable historical insight into the political climate in France at the end of the 18th century. A diary of Hans Axel von Fersen. Thanks to the fine scholarship of Melissa St. John at the University of Michigan, this significant historical document has been uncovered and translated into English. June 3rd, 1791. The trouble in France continues to mount. The revolutionaries have fooled the king and queen to return to the Tuileries the Tuileries in Paris, where they are living their virtual like virtual prisoners. I am working with the counter-revolutionaries to help the royal couple couple escape to England. June 18th. Everything is arranged. False passports, a carriage, disguises. Just after midnight on Tuesday, the king and queen, dressed as servants, will slip out of the city by coach. It will be their driver. I will be their driver. I have in instructed Marie to bring her jewels with her. If they are stopped, she may be able to bargain with the revolutionaries, her diamonds for her life. I can have no peace until I know that she is safe beyond the treachery of the revolution, of this revolution. June 27th. Alas, what a cursed night. I had not expected the Commander Le Bouff, Marie's most outspoken enemy, would be present at the checkpoint in Varennes. Marie tried to negotiate, 
but that scoundrel took her jewels and threw her at the mercy of his revolutionary apes anyway. I was helpless to stop him. She and Louise were escorted back to Paris like common criminals. The situation is grim indeed. July 1st. I still cannot speak to the Queen, as she is kept under full-time surveillance. I am awaiting orders from Vienna as to what to do next, but I fear that it may be too late to save Marie or her husband. The thought of her suffering destroys me. Sorry, fly again? Okay. <laughs> um, so I know I've already been through this section. My god, this flies pissing me off right now. Okay, either way, we have a nice little ship here. But that's not what we're looking at. We're looking at this. Now, where's the button? Okay, and we have 15 minus negative 15, 10, negative 5. Now, I need to, sorry, we need to close this first. Oopsies, nope. Okay, close this first, and then back off. And that would be actually be here. So it says a slime rabbit will open, will have three openings to its den. Now this is a bit awkward because it took me a while to figure out, but I think it's like this, so... 15... ten, negative five. And that's something super loud. But that... is all the way... Up, sorry, fly again. <laughs> Up here. So we got a secret little passage. We have this lighter. But it's so dark, so let's... And voila. We have a key. So just kind of remember if there's anything else I can grab here. No. We can read this. So. The castle's been empty for many years now. These hallways just echo in vain. And oh, how I miss you, my one-time son. My anger's, my anger's dissolved into pain. I still don't know why you pilfered my wallet. The money could hardly have mattered. That $50 I'd have given you twice. But instead, my poor heart you shattered. If only I could find you. We'd patched it all up. Talk through it as dad and son should. Perhaps you meant only to test my love. Perhaps you felt misunderstood. I want you to know that your old man forgives you. Old bygones I bygones with me. So I've left you one keepsake to remember me by. You'll sure be delighted to see. Go out to the garden, my old thinking spot. My refuge in hours of dread. Your lucky charm is stashed where no stranger would look, in the back of my old troubled head. So this is goodbye, dear Dexter, farewell. You offered me much-needed joy. And I'll never forget all the laughter brought me, my darling young rascally boy. And so that means the caretaker was, well, he was someone's son, but there's more. When he was good, he was very good. Dexter, the sun in my life. Castle boy, wind spelling bee, state spelling bee. Uh, sesquicentennial? <laughs> Earned student trip to DC. I still can't say that. Students from all corners of Wisconsin competed at the Badger State spelling bee in Madison on Saturday. The day began with 116 finalists ages 19 to 15, at Capitol Elementary School. After 14 rounds of competition, there were three remaining finalists, Mar Marcia Aldridge of Dresser, Tanya Jones of Lady Smith, and Dexter Egan of Butteridge. 
In the end, Egan, a fifth grader, correctly spelled sesquicentennial, sesquicentennial, I can't say it, to earn all expense paid trip to next to next month to the Vanderbilt National Spelling Bee in Washington, D.C., not to mention a trophy in statewide fame. After the contest, Dexter said he had been preparing for the event since last fall. The charming 11-year-old was just one of more than 50,000 elementary and junior high students in Wisconsin who participated in the classroom, school, city, and county competitions that led to Saturday's competition. Several hundred people from around state drove to Madison to watch the event. Among those in the audience was the chocolate milk tycoon Ezra Wickford, who is Egan's adoptive father. When asked how he felt about Dexter's victory, Wickford said he felt like a proudest, the proudest dad on, the earth, on earth and added adopting Dexter was the best thing I ever did. The Vanderbilt National Spelling Bee will be held from May 28th to June 3rd. So... He is actually the adopted son of the of the original creator of the castle, I believe. So, uh, Young Buckaroos National Council. I'm not quite sure what this Young Buckaroos thing is. I'm assuming it's supposed to be like Boy Scouts, but without copyright <laughs> or something. Certificate of Merit. The certificate presented to Dexter Egan for demonstrating leadership among his peers in the Vilas County Youth Recycling Project in the... In the to help in the war effort. Huh. And that's Father's Day, first vehicle. Okay, so that's that book. And in this book, when he was bad, he was hard. Dexter, when it rains, it pours. My son the Vandal is what's on the side there. Dear Mr. Wickford, we're sorry to report that your son Dexter was caught on school grounds last night throwing rocks at the gymnasium windows. This is the second time he has been caught attempting to destroy school property. We fear Dexter is becoming a danger to himself and others. We have no choice but to expel him. Please contact us if you have any questions regarding this matter. Harold Burney Sad excuse for stealing. Dear Pop, I'm sorry for taking $50 out of your wallet without asking. I know it was wrong. I know you are very disappointed in me. I'm sorry. I will never do it again. I'm sorry. Your son, Dexter. I raised the crook. Milwaukee Bank nabs suspect passing phony checks. Bank employees at the Milwaukee branch of First National Bank on 3rd Street helped police catch a young man who tried to cash counterfeit checks in their bank September 6th at 2.30 p.m. The man came into the bank with phony checks and identification that matched everything on the checks. On the checks, Milwaukee Police Sergeant Fred Leoda said. Bank employees noted the license plate and the description of the car, called police and identified the young man after the Milwaukee police stopped the car. The suspect has been identified as Dexter Egan, 18 of Butter Ridge, the adopted son of prominent chocolate milk tycoon Ezra Wickford. He had three different sets of false ID matching the checks, Leoda said. At 18, the kid has already, is already like a pro. Egan was arrested on felony charges of possession of false ID for purposes of fraud, possession of counterfeit checks, attempting to pass the checks, and conspiracy. If convicted, he could face a prison sentence of up to 20 years. As of last Friday, Egan is being held at the County Correctional Center on 50,000 bail, said a jail spokeswoman. Ezra cannot be reached for comment, nor has anyone come forward to post bail for Mr. Egan. This is a... Uh, I like how he writes souvenir, like, why, <laughs> why do you not know? Because I don't think, unless you found this, unless you found, unless you found Egan had this in possession and kept it as a, and you were wondering if he kept it as a souvenir. I'd rather see it burn. Okay. Rockford, Belchford, and Bletch, attorneys at law. Dear Ezra, I have changed your will according to the directions you gave me in our meeting of May 21st. In the event of your death, Dexter will have no recourse to inherit Wickford Castle or any of your estate or financial holdings. Further, he will be unable to claim any association with or capitalize upon your name or reputation. I am currently proceeding with your request to annul your adoptive relationship to Dexter 
to Dexter and to sever any subsidiary legal ties you may have to him. I will notify you when these procedures are finalized. On a personal note, allow me to say how sorry I am to hear of Dexter's criminal conviction and to urge you not to blame yourself. I'm sure you did the best you could with Dexter, but some children just turn out to be bad eggs. Nonetheless, while your disappointment must be profound, I commend your prudence and pragmatism in the decision you have made to protect your state. Yours faithfully, Peter Rockford. All right. So that's a little backstory on Dexter Egan, who we now we know was was the adoptive son of Ezra Rockford, the original owner of this castle. So with that, I'm going to have to end the set here. No, have without no idea if this was over or under. So thank you for liking if you like. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribe. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. And thank you for simply clicking on this video. And until next time, guys. See ya.